Your mission, should you wish to accept it, is as follows. Create an art journal page with the following instructions. Number one, add a patterned underpaper. Number two, add at least two colours. Three, add at least two stencils. Number four, add texture or embossing paste. Number five, add two cut-out collaged items. Number six, add three random words around your page. Seven, add circles. Eight, add glitter or sparkle. Nine, add a frame or border to your page. And finally, number 10, add black or white highlights. This message will self-destruct in two seconds. Good luck. Okay, Mike Deacon, mission accepted. So let's get started. I had to make some notes before. <laughs> All right. Add patterned under paper. I think I'm going to add some patterned tissue paper. I have this one I just got. I think I'm going to use it. Because who doesn't like some good gold arrows? All right. Matte, fluid matte medium, it's good collage glue, do I have a plan? Not really, <laughs> y'all didn't expect that I would did you? We're going to just go with his props that he gave me and we're going to see where we end up. see what else I have. I have I have this one. It's just speaking to me this morning. Isn't that great? It's a plaid tissue paper with a copper line in it. Isn't that fabulous? I got it at Target. I want to add a little bit of it to here. I don't know why. piece of it down here at the bottom. Whoops. That's all I need to do. Glue a bunch of pages together. Okay. We have to let that dry a little bit and we'll be back. Okay, my next two prompts from Mike are add two colors and add two stencils. I think we're going to add two colors with two stencils. What do you think? <laughs> so I'm going to start with this round um, stencil. I don't know who these are by. You know, unless they mark the edge. Oh wait, it is marked. This is by the Crafters Workshop and it's TCW321S. Huh. Alright, I've got some um, distress paint daubers here. Let's see, let me get it started. There we go. like that. All right, one stencil. And what color was that? That was, I know somebody's going to ask me, that was Rusty Hinge. And then this other color, I have this color picked out, Butterscotch, but I don't think, at least not right now, we're going to use it. I want to use this red color, Barn Door. 
And this stencil is from Donna Downey. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's a Donna Downey stencil. What color is this? Yeah, Barn Door. This one's new. I haven't used this one yet. Let's get it started. There we go. not worried about overlapping them or if the colors you know a bit uneven this is all about layers of mark making to create an interesting page so I like that um, I gotta hang it up I don't really wash my stencils very much I just hang them up and let them dry <laughs> I know that's bad all right now the next prompt is um, texture or embossing paste um, let's dry this a bit first. Okay, I'm going to get some... Let's see if I can find my molding paste, light molding paste. I've got some light molding paste here. I don't know if that's exactly what he meant, but that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to grab a little dish and a palette knife. All right. We're going to scoop a bit out. Not too much. So I don't think we need too much. We're going to add a little paint to it and tint it a bit. Um... And I think we'll tint it with this butterscotch that I had out. So I'm going to add a little paint to that. There we go. And let's get that mixed up. So now we've tinted the molding paste this golden ochre color, the butterscotch. We are going to, and I just got some on me. All right, we're gonna take some punchinella, and I've got this large size punchinella here. And I'm gonna put the molding paste through the stencil, the punchinella stencil. hopefully semi-neatly so that we get some of the pattern otherwise what was the point all right Okay, that's going to take a while to dry before we can do anything with it. So I'm going to go run a couple errands and I'll be back. Hopefully it'll be dry. Okay, before we do anything else, there's something I want to do to this background before we do any more of, of Mike's prompts. Um, so I am going to mix together some white acrylic paint as soon as I find it. I know I've got it in here somewhere. That's not it. Here it is, and we're going to put it in a little dish with some water and make a wash. Where is my... I want to thin it out a bit. We'll use this big brush here that I had. Now 
and then I'm going to brush it over the whole, most of the page. Okay, and then we're going to take a baby wipe. And I'm going to just wad it up in my hand and wipe the paint off the raised parts where that um, modeling paste is. I'm not pushing too hard because I'm not sure how dry my modeling paste is. I don't know if it's very dry. <laughs> And I'm going to sort of play with it until we have sort of something where the dots are sticking out more and the background is sort of receding. That kind of mutes some of the colors a little bit and calms everything down just a bit. I think I want to take some of the straight paint without watering it down. And I want to do this before we do the collage because this is going to have to dry because now it's going to be super, super, super wet. And I may want to do it with another color also. We'll see. I'm going to take what's left in here and kind of, yep. Okay, we're going to let that dry and I'll be back. Okay, now we have add to collage items. So I have some drywall tape that I'm going to add. And I think for a change, the sticky is going to come off easy. It doesn't always come off easy for me. I'll put that on. And then I'm going to put this image over it. And then I'm going to put another piece on like something like that. Let's get this on here first. We're going to use some um, gel medium. This is extra heavy gel medium. Just because it's um, a drier, less wet way to glue this magazine page down. This is a piece of artwork out of probably cloth, paper, scissors. This is not a drawing of mine. In fact, it looks like Jane Davenport. I don't know that for sure, but that's the style of the face on here. It looks like Jane Davenport. I'm trying to get my spreader. It's not wanting to come out. Okay. I'm going to put some over the drywall tape too, just to ensure that it stays down. And twice in a row it peeled off cleanly. That's just not, that doesn't normally happen for me. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's pretty good. My table's a mess. I can't get to anything. Okay. Get some of this. There we go. That's better. All right, and then um, 
add three random words. So I found some random words in my word box and I think this one needs to be trimmed. I believe that's why I had the scissors out in the first place. <laughs> the others are okay. So I have Dream Create and Art. I think I want to put the art like right there. And this art is on um, from some Happy Mail or something, and it's on a piece of cardstock. So the extra heavy gel medium should stick it down really good. Sometimes it's a little hard to get cardstock down on your journal pages. And I think I want to glue the pieces of the yarn down too. put dream and create up here. These were pretty random choices. They were just on the top of my word box. I didn't go hunting deep in the box for words or anything. Okay. Our, our next prompt is add circles, and, but we need to um, we need to let this dry because it's a lot of glue and wet stuff going on. So I'll be back. It's not really very dry yet, but I think we can add our next two things. So the next thing on our list is add circles. So I'm going to take some black paint here. And this is charcoal black. This is Claudine Helmuth Studio Acrylics um, paint. And this is just a ketchup lid, Heinz 57 lid. Okay. And then I think, actually, I'll just do this here. Kind of a wipe off page. I need it. I want a smaller lid. So let's grab one out of my bucket here. Of stuff. There we go. This is actually a pill bottle. Smaller circle. Yep, that works for me. Okay, and then the next one is add glitter or sparkle. This is some stickles, and the color here is tropical tangerine. And I think what I'm going to do is put it in some of these circles I just made carefully. Just spread it out with my finger. Okay, now we need to let that dry again. We'll be back. Okay, now we need to add a frame or a border, and I think we're going to use these Posca pens. If I can get it open, there we go. Oh, see, this one's never even been used. 
Well, let's just get that started, shall we? Probably shouldn't be doing this with the, <laughs> the cap off. It's probably a good thing I'm doing it pointing away from me, right? Well, let me get these activated and I'll be right back. Okay, let's do a simple border with some of these Posca pens. I have a couple different colors of orange. One's more of a flesh tone. I've got some pink, if they're not dried up. Oh, yeah, they're good. So let's see what we can do with some of these uh, pens. And let's create a border. Um, hopefully... I don't know that it's completely dry yet. I'm going to start. No, I'm going to start with the dark one. Um, I don't know that it's completely dry yet. Um, so hopefully we'll try to stay away from anything that's too wet. Because otherwise it'll mess up the Posca pen. Not that that would be the first time I've uh, messed up a Posca pen. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be, I gotta say. When I tell you guys not to do something, it's usually because I've already done it wrong. Just FYI. <laughs> it's not just to, you know, boss you around. <laughs> not normally. Although I can be bossy. I, I try to control those urges. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. This is a really light colored orange. And I want to kind of mix it with the other orange on the page while they're while it's wet. And there we picked up some black paint, but you know what? But I'm okay with that. And we can take a baby wipe. gets too dark if that something like that happens and it's you don't mind it so much like I didn't mind it so much but it was a little bit dark so I'm gonna just take the baby wipe and I'm gonna lift some of that there we go oops would, would be better if I waited until everything dries but who me wait till stuff dries there we go that's better Okay. You know what? That's not turning out how I thought, but I like it. So let's put some of this black that's on here all the way around. Clean that off a bit over here on the facing page. Okay. Take our baby wipe. Let's get a little bit blendy with this. about the pink one in my hand. Okay. I really want to put my hand down right there. These are some less um, lesson instructions from life books, so I can just put that right there. It doesn't matter. So I want to do varying sizes of pink dots randomly around the border.
So let's keep going all the way around the page. These are all Posca pens that I've been using. There are um, different size nibs. I got them on Amazon.com. Oh, just stuck my hand my arm in something. <laughs> That's not the first time. It won't be the last time. So I'm just going to keep real random with it. I hope you guys decide to do this challenge along with Mike and I. And uh, he's got different, a different mission from me than I got from him. But I hope he has fun with it, and I hope you guys, too, give it a try. And if you have any questions for either one of us, let us know. Don't forget to go over to his channel and watch his mission, and like, share, and subscribe. All right. Now it says to add black or white highlights, and I'm going to use do black, and I'm going to use my um, black Stabilo pencil. My water's kind of icky, but I'm going to pick the least ickier side. And I'm going to dip my pencil right into the water. And by doing that, you get this interesting effect that I really like. And I'm going to outline some of my elements with my wet Stabilo pencil. Don't forget that all of my contact information is in the description below the video. So if you have any need to get a hold of me via email, my email is down there. If you want to send me mail, my post office box is down there. If you want to send me a product to try and, and uh, review, or you want to send me happy mail, anything like that. Copyright information is down there. Where you can find me on social media, my Facebook group that I have. We're going to go in with um, some white. I'm going to dry this a little bit first. Now I'm going to go into some of these dots in the drywall tape and I'm going to color some of them white with this is a this is a different kind of paint pen similar to the um, Posca pens. This is a Molotow marker. This you can buy at Hobby Lobby. They have a bunch of different colors. I really like the black and the white. 
I'm going to color in some of these dots here in the in the drywall tape. Just add some random doodly marks. I kind of like that. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can get you in a little closer. There we go, mission complete. I hope you all like it. I hope Mike, I hope you like it. And uh, don't forget to go over and watch Mike's channel. He's got a whole bunch of different mission parameters than I did. And I hope it gives you all some ideas of what you can do with your art journal pages and just a few simple, easy prompts. Um, don't go out and have fun with it. That's the most important thing. Whatever you create, um, it doesn't matter, you know, what anybody else thinks except you. Have fun with the process. That's the most important thing. All right. Go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Special Agent Aaron, your mission has been accomplished. <laughs>